Let's learn step by step how to create this awesome graphic design that can be used for commitments, visits, game day edits, or anything you want to plug in for social media. First, we will take the rectangle tool and drag it across our canvas. You will want to make this rectangle the main color of your design, so hit the fill button and select the color wheel, and you can choose what color you want the rectangle to be. Select the text tool on the toolbar and click inside your rectangle. This will allow you to insert any text you want into the background. If your school has a slogan, you can put that here, or maybe you're going to do a game day graphic, so you can then insert the words game day as the background text. Adjust the size of your font so it fits the top of your graphic. Let's highlight our text and select warp text. Select the flag option and your text should now look kind of wavy. We will adjust how much the text is bent with this slider right here so it looks a little bit more like this. Now we can duplicate this layer by right clicking and going to duplicate layer. We can then drag that layer so that it is directly below the original layer. Select your top layer of the text and press shift and click on your bottom layer of text. Now duplicate both of these layers and drag these layers down. We will repeat this process until we fill the whole canvas with our background text. You can select all the layers created and then enlarge them to fit the canvas a lot better. We can now insert a paper texture and put it on darker color in order to complete the first step of this design. Step two, we're gonna incorporate our background logos. You can use the same logo or two different logos. And if you have an all white version of your logos, that's ideal for this step. First thing we're gonna do is make a smaller rectangle and place a texture above this layer. Create a clipping mask and place this layer on the blend mode color burn. In order to create a clipping mask, all you have to do is right click on the texture layer and then find create clipping mask. Like I said earlier, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the blend mode to color burn. It gives it this really unique design. If you zoom in on the rectangle that we just created, you can see there is a black outline to our rectangle. To get rid of this, click on your rectangle and hit stroke. You'll want to select the option with the red line through it. What that does is it eliminates the black outline. Now insert your logos. The main tip in this step is to create a different size logo at different angles. You can duplicate your logo layer by right clicking on the layer and going to duplicate layer. Let's add a circle into our graphic for our player's face. This can be done by clicking and holding the rectangle tool and selecting the circle. Now click and drag in order to create the circle onto your sports graphic design. Right click and duplicate this layer. You will want to expand the duplicated layer and center it. Once we have done that, let's change the fill to none and add a white stroke. You can see the size of the outline is really thin. So what we want to do is increase that. This can be done by clicking on our circle layer and increasing the slider for the stroke. We'll next insert a picture of our player right above the black circle layer. Right click on your player layer and go to create clipping mask and your player will now be inside of that circle. This next step can be done on any smartphone. Go to Google images on your phone and search for something related to your graphic. For me, I'm doing a Duke graphic, so I just Googled Duke basketball players. But a lot of times I will Google something and then I'm gonna change the text inside the search bar to make it look like whatever I want. Once I have finished that, I take a screenshot and we are now ready to incorporate our phone into the graphic design. Let's insert the phone and screenshot that we just took on our smartphone. You'll start with the inside portion of the phone and then make your way to the outside portion of the phone, which is the white part of the picture. If you have questions about this part on how to cut an image out, you're gonna wanna watch this video right here. This process takes a while, so if you're new to Photoshop, make sure you learn this before you start to do advanced graphics. It's one of the most important things you will learn. I'll also leave a link in the description of the PNG for the phone, so you can skip the masking step for this particular design and just insert your screenshot. There also will be a link in the description for my Patreon, where you can find the PSD template as well. If you double click on your screenshot layer, it will open up an entirely new tab. We can now choose if we want to swap out pictures within our screenshot of Google Images. All that needs to be done is mask out the searches and then press Command I to invert the mask. And we now can insert a picture behind our phone layer and it will look like it's the original Google search picture. So for example, 
In my original post, I inserted all different Duke NBA players instead of having a bunch of pictures of the recent players like Paolo. You can also do some really unique stuff like add a text message from a coach, press the clone stamp tool and then hold option and select a blank part of your text message. You should see a different icon pop up when you hold the option button to sample within the layer. You can now paint over the original image. This allows you to insert your own text to make it look like the coach or anybody of your choosing has just sent you a text message on the iPhone. For the iPhone font, I used Helvetica, which is the closest font I could find to a real text message off of an iPhone. After we have completed this step, hit the X and then save your changes. If you've done this step correctly, your changes will be reflected on the final canvas here. We can now select the layer and click on one of the white squares. This will allow us to right click and change the perspective. The goal is to match the angle of the phone. We can also change the distortion to truly match the phone to the screenshot. After we've done that, we can now erase the outside edges of the screenshot so it fits inside our phone. Drag and drop an image of your player. For this particular sports graphic design, I like using a full body image where I can insert shadows so it looks like he's standing right next to the phone. Go up to filter and then camera raw filter and we will make the following changes. These changes you can replicate exactly and then adjust based on your lighting of your player's photo. Insert texture, decrease dehaze, increase vibrance, increase highlights and contrast. Press OK and now you can see the before and after. Let's learn the best way to make your graphic design look more realistic, which is adding shadows. Create a blank layer below your player image, select the brush tool and change your color to black, and you can roughly insert some black paint under the player's feet. Now go up to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. We can change this slider to create a blurry shadow under our player's feet. Create another layer, and this time we wanna create a larger paintbrush underneath our player's feet. Click the move tool and then right click on your black paint and change the perspective. We'll drag this paint till it covers both feet. The goal of this layer is to be the body shadow. We can repeat the steps from earlier in order to blur this layer. If you guys are looking for the PSD template to use for your sports team or, or any of my YouTube video PSDs, check out my Patreon like I mentioned earlier. It's going to be a great deal for all access to everything I've ever done on YouTube, so you're not going to want to miss out on that. The next step is to incorporate some text into the background. There isn't any special tips or tricks for this step, but for the main font, I used Akira Expanded, and for the numbers, I went with this font called Druk Wide. One important tip that you guys can do with all of your graphics, if you have a logo that has its original colors, but you want to change it to all white, you can go up to image adjustments and then increase the lightness and it will turn your entire logo white. For example, this Duke logo that I found, I couldn't find it in all white. So this was a really important step for me. What really makes this graphic come together is the last step. We will insert our Patreon overlays and we're going to throw both of these on the blend mode lighten and then we can press shift alt and command E in order to create one single layer for all of our design. Go up to camera raw filter and we're gonna make a couple of final adjustments. You're gonna wanna darken up the background by sliding the vignette slider to the left and add a little bit of grain. You can also do things like add some sharpening and contrast, but the main step I want you to focus on is taking down the colors red, orange, and yellow inside of the color mixer. These are your main colors for skin tones and this will give you the black and white effect on the skin without having to do all the work of masking. If you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like for me and I'll see you in the next video.